What is up guys, Johnny Tsunami Zero One here with another FIFA 18 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the key to becoming a better player, to becoming a foot champion. If you want to improve, you're having some trouble, maybe you're not winning as many games as you want to, especially in the weekend league, you're not qualifying as much, this will help you become an actual better player and make sure that you actually improve and not to stay the same and hoping for wins, but actually deserving victories. But as always though, make sure to check out all my previous tutorials if you're not done so already. Ready, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future ones. All right, guys, let's get straight into it. The key to becoming a foot champion, the key to improving FIFA 18, is to analyze your game and figure out your weaknesses. It's very, very important that you're constantly looking at what you're playing. Figuring out exactly why you're losing. Don't just blame it on FIFA. I know there's some times that you give up goals that you have no explanation for other than that's just FIFA. But a lot of the times, it is because you're weak at that aspect. For example, you might be a really good passer. You might be really good at skill moves, but you're really bad at crossing, so you never cross in-game. Or the opposite. You might be really good at crossing, but you never do skill moves. You never pass the ball very well because you're just not that good at it. Or you're good at it, but you feel more comfortable at crossing. So you want to figure out exactly what what your weaknesses is. So you've got to put your pride down and figure out exactly what you're weaker at and try to improve. Don't shy away from that. Far too often, the biggest problem I find a lot of players having is that all they care about is winning. And I understand that if you're not winning, it's not fun to play FIFA. But you have to improve. In order to improve, you're going to lose. It's going to happen. People did not become a pro player from day one. They played a lot of FIFA, they lost a lot, but they tried to improve. So rather than focusing just on winning, if you're really, really good at doing quick attack, at doing that counter attack, try to focus on playing some games and taking it slow, doing more pass, doing more slow build up so you can add that to your attack. Because the truth is when you're versing a good player, a good defender, if you're just doing one sort of attack, they're going to be able to react to that change up their style and stop that completely. If all you do is cut inside when you get to the wings, a good defender is going to be able to stop that. You're going to have to incorporate some crosses to keep them guessing. That's why I always say my key to attacking, the key to attacking is switching up your attack. Switching it up to catch them off guard so they're never comfortable with what you're going to do. They're always guessing what are you going to do. So lose some games. Focus your games if you find yourself sprinting too much. I have a sprint at the tour that goes way into detail on that you should not be sprinting over 80% in your attack. Over 80% of the time you should not be sprinting in your attack. And far too many people lose possession that way. They find a hard time of building up play, of moving the ball up the pitch and being successful in their attack because they're sprinting. So what is the one key thing that I tell people when they have those type of problems? Don't sprint at all. For the next few games, don't sprint at all. Sure, you might lose the game. You might do worse than you would do if you were just forcing things by sprinting. But you're going to improve. You're going to start learning that you don't need to sprint all the time. And you're going to incorporate it. And slowly, you can start sprinting a little bit more into your game. But you're forcing yourself to improve. If you're really bad at crossing, but you're really, really good at skill moves, and you still win 80% of your games because you're really good at skill moves, you're really good at passing, but you're just not good at crossing, take a few games and don't pass the ball. Don't do skill moves. Just cross. Focus on crossing and try to improve. Watch my tutorials on crossing, stuff like that, so you know exactly when to cross, what type of cross to do, and then focus on that to try to improve your crossing. And then that way, you can put that level of crossing up to equal your skill move level and your passing level. So when you actually get to these foot champions games against these really good players, you're in position to win the game. And this is not just for attacking, but also for defending. A lot of people love to contain. But really, if you want to take your defending to the next level, you're going to want to stop doing so much containing and much more jockeying. And it's a lot more difficult, but you don't create that invisible wall and you can really have more control of your player. But it is going to be a lot more difficult and you're probably going to lose a lot of games if you start trying to focus it. And a lot of people will go back as soon as the game is one nothing. It's very easy to switch up your tactic. But once you start losing, they might go back to containing all the time and it's not going to help you improve you have to put your ego aside for a second and try to actually improve lose some gains but learn how to jockey because that will help you in the long term but that is it guys i hope you guys like this video if you did please leave a like comment share with all your friends click on one of these playlists check out some of my other videos i got tutorials with everything in fifa 18 including attacking defending passing you name it i got it top five videos of my top five skill moves my formation guys and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much